This is my 2022 Tesla Model X. And in this video, we'll be replacing the HEPA filter. You should get this done, I guess, every three years or maybe 50,000 kilometers. There's not any smells coming from the climate control, but I still would like to change it so that the AC isn't working too hard. Most likely the HEPA filtration will actually be in this top condition rather than being all worn. Let's see how we're gonna get this done. Went to Tesla and picked up the cabin filter, which is this one right over here. And then this is the HEPA filter inside of this box. So starting off, I assume we're just gonna take this rubber seal off just like this. Put it aside. I will also move out these filters from the front. We should be able to just remove this carpeted liner. There should be clips over here. First, I guess we remove this plastic. And be careful because there is a light over here. Maybe take the tow hook out so it won't be that heavy. This was the one that controls the front release. After removing that, we should be able to just remove this carpeted liner. And then if you look over here, we have quite a bit of bolts and we're just gonna have to untighten those bolts. There are 10 millimeter bolts and I might also have to remove this plastic covers over here because there looks to be bolts underneath there as well. Let's remove this. Then this. Careful not to break the clips. The pin actually comes out, so be careful not to lose it. It's this one right here. Slides out. Now I'm going to take this one out. There we go. We got to take these bolts out. This should just come right off. And it does careful from the cable. Now, as you can see, this Model X, the refresh one, is actually not the videos I've watched before. Like the other ones, the filter is like this. But the good thing about Tesla is they have like service manual. And so I'm just gonna look at through the service manual and then see how to replace this air filter. I'm also gonna try to clean inside here before putting everything back together. The first thing I had to actually do is turn off the LV power. Now, before we disconnect the LV power, what I did is I unplugged the car and I also went to safety, power off the car as well. And now we're gonna have to take this out. This green piece lifts up, plastic tool. Just be gentle with it, it is plastic. Then we're gonna just do this. And then we just lift this out. There we go. And the next one is this fire loop. We're just gonna take this red piece out, push on this black piece, and then pull this out. Just like that. And you can see this is the fire loop. Instead of pushing on this red, you wanna push on this black part, okay? So you pull this out and then you push on the black. This one is definitely way more complicated than like the previous generation Model X's. You can see the HEPA filters back there. You can see the amount of dust on it. Replacing the HEPA filter on this one is kind of crazy, but we're gonna do it. Remove this one over here. It's like it's just a clip in there. There we go. So this should come right off. And we've got that clip. This was not installed correctly. This one here. It was all crooked. Now we're gonna have to figure out how to take this plastic thing off. Looks like we gotta remove the wiper arm. Take these plastics off. Okay, we need a 15 millimeter socket. If we look over here, this one I just used the nose pliers and I just pulled it out. I kind of put it like this and just pull it out. I can't believe the amount of work to replace a filter. Not coming up let's go back to the instructions took our masking tape and i ended up just putting some lines over here i don't want to mess with this thing because now we got to go over to canadian tire and grab a wiper removal tool to take this out i'm not gonna risk playing with this because if i do i might end up breaking my windshield i just gotta make sure that it could fit around here because this is such a inconvenient place but the tool let's get this opened and hopefully this will work this is the only thing they had close enough that has some reviews that it will work for like rear wipers and stuff. This is for battery. You know, it might work. It's not as easy as I like. Untighten this and then I'll spray some WD-40. I think it worked. Oh yeah. And Tesla has removed this, it looks like, and they scratched this a little bit because I had to replace the upper control arms and stuff. So I think this is part of the steps for that. WD is nice, but can be messy. And this one, I gotta be careful because it's got the hose. So let's kind of move this out the way. 
Oh, there we go. Without this tool, I don't think it's easy to remove this thing. You just gotta be careful not to bend it or anything. There we go. Now we're gonna put this aside carefully. And I think it's the more difficult part now. I don't know how I'm gonna fit this thing in here. Hmm. I got absolutely nothing though. This part is up against it. Like this part is tall. So my next step is if this doesn't work, I just gotta drill a hole in the bottom here. Just made a hole over here, cut it up. Now this could scratch it, but the hood is already scratched. Okay, so the thing is, this tool itself is kind of cheaply made. And so like this part right here, bent, as you can see, so it just slides off. So no matter what I do, I just could not get that out and I'm not risking damaging it. So what I ended up doing is I unclip all these bolts. I mean, the clips these ones and then i was able to just move this to the side to lift this right here you just basically lift up from the back here okay so you just lift up lift up lift up and then you can kind of take out and i guess this is the only way you can do it like it's crazy bad like i tried my best even it looks like tesla whenever they did their upper control arm replacement they ended up scratching the hood over there that's a very hard wiper to take out so it looks like the next step is to remove this wiper arm control thing and also disconnect it from the power over there there's a bolt down there and i'm gonna try to do my best to remove this carefully it's a 10 millimeter bolt just try to remove the whole thing including the wiper so it does have a washer take this out there we go okay there we go now the hard part i just unplug the cable there we go i gotta say this is crazy how much process there is to just change a filter in this Model X. I got a 13 millimeter here. And we gotta take four of these bolts. It's got like blue Loctite on it. It looks like I gotta remove this 12 volt LV battery from here and then we can slide this out. All right, so we need like a 10 millimeter socket and there's more bolts back there as well. So let's get that removed. Here's a 12 volt lithium ion battery. There was that bolt back here and then two on the top and you could just slide it out. Here's what the bolts look like. Now we should be able to just slide this out. There we go. We just removed this thing. It's crazy how dirty it is back there. But here's our air filter container. Just kind of trying to clean this my best. And I just noticed that this part of the car, like the fender is actually zip tied. Like they're double zip ties connecting part of this fender, I guess, which is weird. And guess what? Same thing on this side right here. Here I've got the air quality sensor and this one you just unplug and then counterclockwise turn it and then you can remove it. Now I'm gonna need to try to open this up. Wow, this is super dirty. Check this out, you guys. This is quite heavy. But here's the HEPA filter. It shows the arrows towards the inside of the car, in a way, with these uh, arrows. There's also clips and stuff, so you can't really put this wrong. But yeah, look how dirty this HEPA filter is after three years and 86,000 kilometers here in Calgary, Alberta. And we get crazy winters smoky stuff and then here's the inside part of the filter it's not that dirty but this part is crazy dirty now i'm gonna take a vacuum and just vacuum around the car around this vent area try to clean as much as i can and then we're gonna put everything back together the inside is nice and clean as you guys can see so now let's install the new one here's what it looks like inside of the box so this one goes towards the interior Here's what the brand new one looks like. So the airflow is gonna be towards the interior. Here's the bottom pieces. And so now we're just gonna have to line this up properly into its spot and then push it in. Let's get this clean, then I will put this back. The cover is nice and clean, as you guys can see. We kinda got it clean. Clockwise turn this now, I assume, to put it back into place. And then we need to connect the connector. I have to get this one here cleaned up. Nice and clean. And now we're gonna figure out how to put this back again. So the smaller part is on the bottom and then the bigger part is on the top. 
Make sure the power cable is above it. Here I've got the 13 millimeter bolts, also blue thread locker. And the way I like doing this is basically I can see the blue. And so I would actually put it like where it was. It's a bit too much. And I'm not gonna tighten them all the way right now. And when I tighten them, I'm gonna only tighten them enough so that way we can torque them to spec. Have my torque wrench over here, and so we're gonna get this torqued. Here's the 12 volt battery bolts, and you can see it looks like there has been Loctite applied to this before. So we're gonna do the exact same thing get Loctite on all of these. There's one, two, and the third one. Try to get it cleaned, but this is kind of what it looks like no matter how much I try to clean it. So here we go. We just gotta try to get this installed, bolt them as much as I can in here. There's also one more that's super annoying and it's located in the back. Gotta make sure I don't drop it. Let's get these torqued. And make sure you don't plug this in yet. Pretty difficult. I'll just tighten it as much as I can. I was able to check it and it is torqued to spec. There's also like this uh, battery seal thing that needs to be attached. That's what that looks like once it's attached. Now I gotta put the wipers and stuff back, which is not something I'm looking forward to. This will go on the windshield. There we go. Now that's connected. So this connects on this edge over here. And we're gonna need actually Loctite on these bolts as well. Does not look like it had them, but I'm still gonna put them, especially since that faces a lot of vibration when it's raining. I just can't believe how much time I wasted trying to um, take that wiper blade off. Let's see if this one will go in. Okay, it looks like I'm able to tighten it. These are still 10 millimeters. Got the wrench over here. This will make it easier. Right, this is tight. I can't torque this one, but I can torque this too. There is something I forgot to put, so let's get this put first. I think water goes from here into this pipe looking thing, and then it gets drained right there. Gotta get this side and make sure it's kind of, I guess, behind this thing. We just need to click these into the place, okay? You just gotta make sure you line up these so you can put the clips back in. We also have these plastic things, which there's none over here, but on this, there was these plastic things in here and they were in here properly installed. So I just gotta push them in, get them nicely installed, but there was nothing for this one. Now I wanna just connect this hose. Have this one. I'm gonna put the nut back onto the wipers. So the torque spec is 25 newton meters. So I got that from ChatGPT. Had a harder time on Tesla trying to find that out. Put the plastic covers back on. I think I got everything properly installed. And so let's get this plugged in for right now before I put everything back together. Grab our first responder loop and plug this in first. We can hear the car making a whole bunch of noises. And now let's go sit inside and see what it looks like. Wait for this to power on. Here's what the cabin filter looks like for the Model Y. Tesla, just hoping there's no warnings. And there's something cool I wanna show you is that the climate control vents, they're actually red whenever you're in Mars. But let's go over to the service tab here, the maintenance. And you can see that the cabin air filter is overdue. HEPA filter is overdue. The wiper blades I have changed, but I didn't reset. So we're gonna go over here. So it says every three years. Replace the HEPA filter to filter out pollen, industrial fallout, road dust, and other particles from the air entering the cabin. So we're gonna hit record, HEPA filter replacement. 11th September 2025. You are about to create a record in the vehicle service history, which will update the next recommended service details, of course. And then now, as you can see, HEPA filter replacement is for 11th September 2025. 
28. Now we're gonna put everything back together and then replace the cabin air filter. Just tested the wipers and they all work perfectly. And this is kind of how this works. Everything just collects here, goes through this, and then it leaks onto here. Make sure you get the cable. There it is. Got the carpet over here. Put this in just like that. Here's the tow hook as well as the emergency lever. I'm gonna plug it in. There we go. Works perfectly fine. Plugs into place. Oh, so the front one actually goes in first. So we'll put it here and then these will connect to this. So the front, make sure you put it first and then these ones connect even stronger onto it. Need to put the rubber seal. I'm thinking it'll go in this way. Just ended up removing this rubber seal because I looked at the earlier recording before taking this off. And this part here that there's a little bit of split that's connected together is in the back in the middle. So I took it out and then I just put it in like this. This is by far very long work to just change a HEPA filter. Let's put this back. Like the Model X, putting this cover part back on is very premium feeling, high quality versus the Model 3 and Model Y. Like the way this connects to the car, like a Lego piece, it is so much easier. And I like having the sticker a bit out. So in case of an accident, uh, the firefighters know where to cut. I just have to remove this tapes. I can definitely feel like a bit of a scratch over here. Make sure when you're buying the wiper blade remover, make sure it is a wiper blade remover. This one was kind of like a battery terminal remover, but that was the only thing the store had. And so I just grabbed it. It did help to remove the two of the bolts, but not the third one. The other one is just smaller. I probably can find some on Amazon, but I just couldn't wait. Like the car was already taken apart. Make sure you have that tool before you even start doing this. So that way you'll be able to do it. I don't think Tesla was charging that much money to do this. Maybe get a quote, like, cause it wasn't cheap to buy the HEPA filter alone. And I think it wasn't also that expensive expensive for them to do it. I just thought that it's going to be just like how the older Model X is where you just take the bin out and you just replace it. But no, this is a lot of work. So make sure you have a lot of time. Yeah, this was not easy. Now it's time to replace the interior one. So I believe the way we're going to be replacing this, this is the cabin filter for the Model Y. It actually has two cabin filters and this is for the Model X side by side. So that's kind of what they look like. Now to do this, we're going to re remove this carpet. And I believe we have to open this up. There we go. Just ended up setting it aside here. We should have now access to the cabin filter location, which is this one. We just open it up. And so the airflow is going to be towards the interior of the car. Here's the cabin filter. I mean, this one does not look as dirty. Let's replace it with a new one the new one and there's the old one here's the side comparison this is the old this is the new here's the airflow so that means we're gonna push this inside here so now it's installed you can see the airflow is towards the interior of the car then we have this which i kind of cleaned i just put the plastic cover back on there are those over here that go inside here and here, not sure if that's broken or not. Kind of does versus this one. Maybe that's how it is. But anyway, so those go in there just like this. And these look like magnets. So they kind of hold it in place. We can put the floor mat back on. Now let's get onto the driver's side. We're gonna go over here into service, maintenance. Cabin air filter replacement is overdue. I'm gonna click on it. Cabin air filter replacement. Replace the cabin air filter to prevent pollen, industrial fallout, road dust, and other particles from entering. So I assume I had to do this April 6th, but now it's September 11th, but oh well. Let's hit record. Odometer 86K. Let's hit confirm. Now you can see even the cabin air filter replacement is due on 
11 September 2028. Wiper blades I'd like to replace again and then reset. But that's how you do the replacement of the HEPA air filter on this 2022 Tesla Model X. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I also think this is the first video on YouTube that somebody took the refreshed Model X HEPA filter out and replaced it with a new one. So yeah, it was a lot of work.